Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Then talking about the issue of... Uh you know, Mao, Sampa, and PF, and whatever, whatever, whatever. That situation was created by Walungu. Like I've, I've said before. Me, I used to say it here. Walungu, you cannot, you cannot be double standard. On one side, no, I'm not in politics. On one side, you are holding on to PF. PF has been taken by Mao, Sampa, because you packed it. You were, you were not playing good politics. And Mao Sampa has just beaten you to the dirty politics. The selfishness of you wanting to hold on to PF and not giving it, because you know, you can hold on to it, but giving it the life that it needed. This is what has killed PF. And at the moment, if you are really politicians, if you are really politicians, you should know that PF is gone. And don't waste your time fighting PF. You will not resolve the issue of PF before 2026. 2026 will be here. You will still be fighting with Mao Samba. And Mao Samba will be president of PF. 2026, mark my words. Mark my words. 2026 will be here. And Mao Samba will still be PF president. You will be struggling. I know eventually these court cases like here what Dr. Neva Sumumba, Neva MMD, you will eventually win. You will eventually tri triumph. But it will be useless because PF by then would be a wreck. Mao Samba would have wrecked it terribly such that you have nothing. You have nothing. PF will be nothing. So, Balungu, if you want to salvage or if you want to help the former PF members, this is the time that you have to engage, get another political party and bring everybody into that political party. Bring everybody into that political party. You have the members, but you don't have PF. PF is going to Mausam. Don't waste your time. Find another party, go into that party, and uh, bring all the members there and fund them. Fund them. Bring out resources. politics. You need resources. Valungu, if you don't have resources and if you cannot mobilize resources, you better quickly give the party to somebody. I'm saying give the party to somebody. I know PF is gone, but you have the membership. Find another party. Identify somebody. Let that person uh, be running. Because as it is, I mean, you can't, even those the threats that you are putting up, those threats that you are putting up, we are going to fight, we are going to fight. Hey, legally and whatever, whatever. Makebi Zulu, I, I, I hold him in high esteem. And I recognize his efforts. But he can only do so much. And you cannot turn one law firm. One law firm. I mean, those people are overwhelmed. I mean, those people are overwhelmed. Are you really thinking properly? Hmm? All the cases, all the cases, all the cases, 
All the cases that could make a bizuru. Make a bizuru. Make a bizuru. I think Make Bizuru should do should should move from that office and start renting in their sun share. The entire building. Provide money for Make Bizuru so that he say he should start renting Chirachi Sun Share. Eh? The entire building. Let him take up that sun share, the entire building, so that he can employ many lawyers. Many lawyers. Because you own some cases that could make a You But then, make cannot handle, even if he is super human, he cannot handle all these cases if there are no resources. Eh? I know what is happening there. I know what is happening. That guy, Uri Wakurimao Sampa Mwasende, Mwamusenda, you take him in some hidden place and you said Mwaram Pero Rupia. Eh? And you failed to, 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 to release money. You failed to release money. You failed to give him money. Kutuma you are fighting like that. You get a person, a, a very key person, that one. Namu Shondelanda. I'm not going to mention his name. You got this person, a key person, Kulimao Samba. You got him. And you are like that they didn't even charge you abduction because that was very serious also. And the guy, Muamu Vikapo, no, we are going to give you money. You didn't give him money. Katushindala manga sharifu. Katushindala manga sharifu man because ningu fat manifu mwalingiro kumpera at shinga. One million. Katushinga sharifu ma one million. Barungu vushe wanifu mwa one million. Tai tapo kero di mun nadi randanan ku tapo kero one million. Bye kadi efet no make biara tu mpiya make biara tu mpiya money never came. And I know if make bizulu was given that money, that money would have been delivered. But I know make biti was not. I'm sure I didn't have the money. I didn't even. Um, maybe he knew about it, but I don't think, you know, the money was provided. So if you don't even have my resources, how are you going to fight? So for me, I'm not I'm a politics. I'm For me, I'm Look for another party. Get resources. Let all the membership come into that party. Let all the membership come into that party. Members of parliament, they can stay in parliament. Mao Sampa cannot, uh, you know, uh, expel them. Mao Sampa cannot uh, expel them. Let them be there. Let them be there. Mpaka 2026. But for the rest of the membership, find them somewhere where they can have a platform and provide resources. Don't just come on 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 media and start th issuing threats you know when you are issuing threats you must have something that is backing you but wushe balungu na bakwata what is required for him to issue those threats na bakwata what is backing him but okay even if na bakwata because one thing that I can say is that don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted that no, Balungu doesn't have powers. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. win. Those of you who are in power, don't make a mistake to underrate Edgar Chagwalungu. Don't make a mistake. I am saying Balungu is taking advantage of the situation to come back, but he doesn't have solutions. But at the same time, I am telling you, don't make a mistake to underrate Edgar Chagwalungu. Don't make that mistake. Why? Because of the current economic challenges that people are facing. And this is a situation whereby, even if he doesn't have solutions, they will say, ah, Avapo we know. Before he left, we were buying fuel so much. Before he left, we were buying millimil. That in itself is a, is a serious threat. That in itself is a serious political capital for, for, for Vaed Galun. 
Even if he's not taking questions now, even if he's not offering alternatives, he simply have to talk, to talk about how it was before. Even if he can never go back, even if we can never go back, the fact is that we can never go back to 130 kwacha milimi. We can't go back. We will never go back to 17 kwacha fuel. We will not go back, even if Barungu are well. But innocent Zambians can vote for Valungu or can push for Valungu based on that. So be very careful on how you are handling Valungu. Be very careful. The statement was a little bit confrontational. Government should not take it at the same pitch. Should not take it at the same level. Because at the end of the day, Valungu is an underdog. So if government engages in a fight with Valungu, the one that is going to win is Valungu. Because people are going to sympathize with Valungu. Valungu is an underdog. Don't cheat yourself to say, no, Zambians will remember. You like to talk about, it. hey, Kadarism, Kadarism. You are exaggerating. You are exaggerating. By UPND, you exaggerate. You exaggerate. You talk about like Zambia was so bibo. Zambia was, you know, it was, no, it wasn't. I still used to live here during the time of Alungu. I still used to live here. I was arrested. I used to be arrested. Yes. From here. Sean Tembo was also being arrested. And he is still there. And he was there. So come on, don't exaggerate this issue of to say, no, freedoms, freedoms, come on. Eh? Talk about something else, not this freedom that, like you say, hey, now freedoms, freedom, freedom. I mean, that's your freedom, we want. That's your freedom. That's your freedom. Hmm? And some of us, we, we are not even scared of, uh, 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 you know, armor sales. What we are scared of is hunger. That's what we are scared of. If you see us compromising in talking, 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 ninsa to tina, not to am jail. Ninsa to tina. So, hey, freedom, freedom, freedom. Tatuya freedom. Tatuya freedom. I mean, some of some of the people that the life that they live is worse than you know being mujer already. Eh? Ngakutu wa mujer already. What is better? Uri mujer already. Then you, you are free, but you have no food. Eh? In some countries, a lot of people in other countries, like in South Africa, some of us, <laughs> we have tested. Narita is tapo jeri in South Africa. In South Africa, mdala, uru chelo, vali abala lechi bread. Aba ntuba bidi, bread jimo, baba pe. Miuk, so vali nwa tea na miuk. Eh? Na rais wa kupera. Inkoko, wino wino fi. But umuntu wali mchifungo. Some people, a lot of our people would prefer being in jail. In, in, in countries where things are okay. Than being free. So if freedom, what I'm going to say, freedom, freedom. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But the point I'm trying to make is that. Don't underrate Malungo. Don't underrate Valungu. And don't take him in the political path that he wants to take you. Where he's talking about removing immunity. Hey, Shan Shan, you can even kill me. Blah, 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 blah. And if you take him on that lay, on, in that trajectory, he will win public sympathy. Because he's an underdog at the moment. What you have to do is to give him the politics. Challenge him on a political platform. Challenge him to take questions from journalists. Challenge him to go and face this young man from Radio Phoenix eh? at G3, eh? Chimwega. Let him go and face Chimwega pa, 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 Radio, pa Radio Phoenix. Eh? Let him go and face Costa Mwanza, but damn on TV. That's, that's, what you should, those are, that's what you should be throwing at him. That's what you should be throwing at him. Not to, to take him on the confrontation or whatever, whatever. Show that Valungu is not a political heavyweight as much as he is a former 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 uh, head of state. 
show that there is no political substance in Walungu. Let people see that there is no political substance in Walungu. With due respect, I'm not insulting him as a person. I'm talking from a political point of view. Na papat, mungu There is no political substance. There is no political weight in Walungu. And you can do this easily. Let's challenge Walungu. Let him go and face Chimwega. Let him go and face Costa Mwanza. Let him come and face, you know, you like protecting ZNBC. ZNBC, you don't want people to go there. Let him go and face a, a, a Grevazio Zulu on ZNBC. Extend Valungu Beteni. Let him come and give solutions, alternative solutions. Munatina Sana, you know, the hey, non Canadian program, you just bring cadres there, cadres there, cadres there. Bring even some of these opposition. Put them there. Let them be questioned. Let Zambian people hear. But at the end of the day, really, what is so sad for me is that most of us, we are acting from our selfish positions. And once things are okay with us, it's okay. And by UPND, you have got this attitude. A lot of by UPND, you have got this attitude. By UPND, you have to realize that if, for you to, to deliver to the people, it is a concerted effort. Everyone has to put in something. Everyone has to put in something. Everyone has to put in something. And those that you can even bring in, bring them in. But now we get in our positions. But really, you are not delivering. Now we can see our position, but you are not delivering. Zambia will not change like that. Haka in the each name will not change this country by himself. He needs everyone. He needs everyone. But a lot of you, by you PND, you are holding on to positions, but you are doing nothing. You are not helping that Haka in the each name. You are not. I know Haka in the each name is working day and night. He wants to make things happen. But the supporting team is very poor. And we are not saying this so that we can be recognized. Uh -uh. Because even me, you, uh, even if I'm appointed, even if I'm given a position, I cannot change anything alone. I need to work with people. So don't make a mistake to think that, no, we are talking like this because we want to be recognized. Yes, we are. it's true. We are saying we have got something that we can offer. But as much as we have something that we can offer, we would want also others to put in something because we will be all failures, even if we are appointed. We will all be failures. We all need to do something. But there are too many people that are loafing in this government of Aka in the HDM. There are too many people that are just drawing a salary. They are not doing much. And as long as these people, there are, there are too many passengers in a government, it will be very, very, very difficult to deliver. There are too many passengers. You know, you are so jealous. You are so selfish. Some people are saying, no, these people, they are just appointing each other. Tongas and losses and whatever, whatever. Do you know that there are Tongas who are being fired out of this government? Do you know that losses who are being excluded? Do you know that there are Tongas who are being frustrated in this government? I, I don't think for me it, it, is on, it is on tribal because I know yesterday I was actually talking to one Tonga man who has been removed from, from his position. He's a Tonga man. He has been removed. And I've met a number of losses and Tongas who are frustrated, who are complaining. So I don't think we should take it on tribal lines. I think we should desist from that. Because I don't think there is somebody who is being employed because you are Tonga. Eh? I don't think there is somebody who is being employed because you are Tonga. You can't just go to Gary Nkombo to say, oh, hello, I'm Tonga, I've come to be employed. I don't think Gary Nkombo will, will give you employment as much as he is Tonga. I don't think Aka Inde Ichirema will give you an employment just because you say, oh, hello, I'm Tonga. No, I don't think he will give you employment. So there are a number of Tongas that are looking for employment 
or that are looking for opportunities and they're not getting it, getting them. They are going in these offices, speaking Tonga, asking for favors, and they're not getting the favors. So I think from my point of view is that let us desist from at looking at this issue to say it is, it is about tribe. It is about tribe. It is about tribe. It is simply about maybe quite nepotism. Otherwise, you know, it's about people that I know. Eh? In, if I'm appointed, the people that I know, the people that will be making phone calls, most of them will be people from the Copper Belt, will be people from Chinsari, because this is where my connection is. This is where my connection is. And I will not be employing them, or I will not be looking at them, because they are Bemba. No, it is because Narimu is you. Umuntu tu adina angu pati fuu secondary school. Ay, shamu office mwa, naramu lekele shashan. Shamu lekele che. And when I help this person, it is not because he is of this tribe. No, it is because I know him. So we need to understand this. And let us be very careful not to, you know, create chaos in our country. Where we are, we want to propagate. No, it's tribalism, it's tribalism. I don't think there is anyone who is being employed based on the tribe. Yes, if people are being favored because they are known. Even me, I know. Like this guy I was meeting yesterday, he's Tonga. But I've known him for a long time. I've known him for a long time. And I went to meet him. We chatted and whatever, whatever. And before he has helped me, even now, I've received, I've received money. I've received money from a Tonga person. Tonga person. And this Tonga guy that I've received money from, He's a guy that I've known him a long time. A very long time. Hmm? From a long time, I know him. But he has sent me money. He hasn't sent me money because, uh, I mean, he knows I'm not Tonga. And there are so many Tongas. He has got even relatives who are Tonga. He hasn't sent them money. He has sent it to me. So let us be very careful when we are discussing this thing. Now, Papa. Look at it as somebody, people that you know. Like this person, he knows me, he has sent me money, and we know each other from a long time, and yet the guy is Tonga. He didn't send it to other Tongas. He didn't send it because that he is, a, is, is Bemba, I'm not going to send it. No. The people that I talk to in UPND, a number of them are Tonga. Tonga and Lozi. But these people that I talk to, they don't it's out of the friendship that we have. Out of the friendship that we have. Yes. Hey, you have known somebody was telling me, no, hey, the Hakka in the HLM, I will never appoint you because you are not Tonga. Whatever, whatever. I don't think so. I don't believe that. There are so many people that have been appointed who are not Tongas. There are so many people who have been appointed who are not Tongas. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.